Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The world of cinema often presents unique challenges, especially when tasked with portraying historical figures steeped in legacy. Margot Robbie faced such a challenge when she accepted the role of Queen Elizabeth I in the 2018 film Mary Queen of Scots, directed by Josie Rourke. Starring alongside talents like Say Wars Ruran, Jack Lowden, David Tennant, and Joe Alwyn, Robbie found herself in the shadow of some of the most iconic portrayals of the Queen, delivered by the likes of Helen Mirren, Judi Dench, and Kate Blanchett. Initially, Robbie felt intimidated by the prospect of adding her name to this legacy, questioning herself, who am I to think that I could join that legacy? But rather than shying away from the challenge, she opted to dive deep into Elizabeth's character by exposing her vulnerabilities and insecurities. Mary Queen of Scots intricately tells the intertwined stories of two women, the Protestant Elizabeth and her Catholic cousin, Mary Tudor, played by Ronan. The film is a historical drama that navigates political tensions and personal rivalries, offering an emotional and humanized portrayal of both queens. Rourke's take on this historical narrative successfully melds fact with fiction, highlighting the queen's correspondence through letters as their primary means of communication. As the plot unfolds, we watch Elizabeth and Mary evolve from allies, sharing the struggles of female leadership to fierce competitors in a male-dominated world. Robbie embraced the power of Elizabeth's past, particularly the harrowing experience of surviving a near-fatal case of smallpox, leaving her with facial scars that transformed both her appearance and her psyche. Reflected in her performance, Robbie described how wearing the elaborate makeup created an uncomfortable yet powerful connection to the Queen's plight. It definitely looked painful. People looked away. Which is great, because it was a small glimpse of how she might have felt at the time. You are as are you. Elizabeth's life was further marred by the constant threat of assassination and foreign invasion, infusing a palpable tension into Robbie's portrayal. As she dealt with these fears, the character revealed her jealousy of Mary's vibrant and unrestrained personality. The film showcases the stark contrast between the two queens where Mary opts for love in her marital choices, Elizabeth makes calculated and often lonely political sacrifices. In a deliberate choice to enhance their portrayals, Robbie and Ronan limited their interactions until their characters finally meet in a crucial scene. This strategy allowed Robbie to immerse herself in the complexities of Elizabeth's character without the influence of Mary's lighter demeanor. My character doesn't have scenes where she can giggle and have fun. Robbie remarked, highlighting the emotional depth of her role. Ultimately, Mary Queen of Scots presents a nuanced examination of two contrasting monarchs, both battling societal pressures and personal dilemmas. It highlights the challenges faced by women in positions of power, portraying them as multifaceted individuals rather than mere adversaries. This exceptional role cemented Robbie's versatility as an actress, following her performance in I, Tanya, and preceding her role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, for which she received a BAFTA nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. In conclusion, Margot Robbie's portrayal of Queen Elizabeth I in Mary Queen of Scots is a compelling testament to her shape-shifting abilities as an actress, reflecting both the historical struggles and emotional depth of a queen navigating a tumultuous era. You can catch this cinematic journey by renting or buying Mary Queen of Scots on Apple TV. You must see what else.